and uh, happened to mention that he had a friend that had my uh, prostate cancer, and uh, Dr. Wolstein said he should call me because I think we can help him. What was uh, your reaction when you knew that your husband has a prostate cancer? Well, he was he had always been so healthy. We had no idea that he had cancer. We were both shocked, and uh, so I started. We talked to the doctors and got their opinions as to what they thought we should do. And then I went on the internet and I started, you know, examining and all of that. And after we talked to Dr. Wolstein, then he showed me, he told me where to look on the internet. And I looked up the website and I got the information from that and started examining hyperthermia on the website. Mm -hmm. And uh, we never had considered alternative medicine before because we were very traditional people in, in our medicines. We didn't go into health foods. We didn't we didn't look into any of those things. We knew people who did and, and we weren't against it, but it just wasn't what we had done. But uh, we heard about all the side effects that come from the traditional medicines and neither one of us liked any of those side effects. So um, we thought this sounded very interesting. But it, it would not be like my wife said, uh, as many side effects. So that's really primarily why we decided on the Institute here. Yeah. It was the very first time that you heard about hyperthermia when you came to, to our website. Yeah, we, I had never heard, well I'd heard of it, but just kind of off for other people, you know, never considered it for ourselves. But the, like Warren said, the combining of both the hyperthermia with the low dose radiation sounded very intriguing. It sounded like maybe this and it's being used in Germany and in Europe and I researched it in Europe and to see what they were doing there and and I know that the FDA keeps people from getting things as readily here as is in Europe mm -hmm. and uh, so I figured hey if it's there and if it's valuable I need to look into it. Did you also did some research on the uh, treatment results of hyperthermia? Yes, yes that's what well, that was what was convincing because we didn't want side effects, but we wanted a cure. Of course. <laughs> you know, it wasn't just the side effects that made yeah. us choose this. So there, there were a number of things that we, that was open to us, mm -hmm. but uh, after investigating them all, we decided that uh, they all had very strong side effects that we would like, not like to have. So um, anyway, that's really one of the reasons, primary reasons we decided on the Institute here. He had scheduled surgery. He was scheduled for surgery about four days after we visited here. So we had to cancel the surgery, but we had a friend who did have the surgery and nine months later the cancer came back. Plus he has to live with the side effects for the rest of his life and we figured, boy, we've got to give something else a try. No, the treatment actually is painless. It's uh, the radiation uh, is painless. The the people in radiation are very thorough. Uh, the hypothermia is uh, takes 45 minutes, and uh, it's done uh, through a, a heat treat that there's no pain to it. So uh, there's no pain to the uh, treatment at all. It just takes time, and of course, if you have the time, that's very good. I had no uh, no illness at all, except uh, it does make a little, you a little more tired by the end of the day, but that was actually the only thing I ever noticed. You just finished the treatment a week ago, or last week? Yes. Do you have any side effects? No, not at all. And actually, we have never done any special diet. Uh, we're kind of traditional people that uh, uh, this is the first time we've we've done anything different other than a traditional way of doing things. Do you know, I don't have any other questions. <laughs> <laughs> anything, well, you anything you would yeah, like to um, One thing is that, uh, you know, the, the side effects from prostate cancer, the treatments that the traditional medicine uses, are, you can be impotent, you can be incontinent, you can have constant diarrhea for the rest of your life, and who wants to live with that if you don't have to? And everything is working just great. So we're really glad. Plus, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, very happy. Came here 
we were still a little skeptical but uh, we figured it doesn't hurt to try and and see what happened and then when we came here and we started talking to people and all the good results people have had it built up our confidence in it and then of course getting the PSA results through the months ah. that continued making us say, hey look it's going down <laughs> so that's really been proven to be the best thing we could have done well I'd have to say I was quite upset when I first found out that I had uh, prostate cancer that's something that uh, you know I knew a lot of men had gotten after they up in age I'm 76 now and my father had it uh, of course he had never had been treated and uh, it, it's a uh, since we have a family of uh, longevity I thought uh, at 76 that we should do something about this because uh, I, I think I have I'm in good physical health so I think um, we should do something about it that would be positive and this is fit the bill just fine and at the end of the the treatment, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, very, uh, uh, I couldn't be happier. All right, I thank you so much uh, for answering this question. And the, the main reason we are doing that is because some other people will see what you have to say and uh, maybe we can help them. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you so much. Thank you.